Hey, this is Steve with RV to Cycle. Do you ever get tired of hearing this? If so, stay tuned. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is expose the screw heads. Okay, so normally what I'll do put a piece of tape over here, a little duct tape, and then go in where this little slot exists with the screwdriver. So if you don't have a little Swiss Army knife, a screwdriver will work, a small screwdriver, and once you get it partly way up, and I've got my tape stuck too well there, that's it. Now we have access to the screw. Next you're going to begin by pulling up here and pushing up from the bottom. This is certainly wedged in and you know the other option is yeah you could just unbolt the toilet but that's the bigger thing that I want to do. Here's what the back side of this guy looks like and if you need a part number there's the part number. So to remove the toilet you just flip these guys they flip off pretty easy. Just stick your nail or your fingernail or screwdriver under there and then we're going to unscrew those two screws and this lid will just come right off. There are a couple of nuts that are going to be underneath. One for each bolt and you just have to hold on to those nuts as you're loosening the screws or bolts. Uh, I mean, it's a screw. It's got a, it's got a slotted head on it. With both screws out, it's time to remove the seat and clean the toilet bowl in preparation for mounting of the upgrade. All the parts you need for installing this seat upgrade are included in one box. It's the toilet seat, the cover, and the mounting hardware. I have links for all these parts in the description below the video. This is what the toilet ends up being hinged to, and it's uh, an adjustable device. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unscrew the nut slash seal slash rubber washer and then feed it through the hole and trust me it'll all make sense once you see the whole video <laughs> it usually does okay what don't drop anything in the toilet ew <laughs> actually you don't want to drop anything down in that hole because that goes in the body of the van. Oh, you're going to start with the, with the most challenging one. So this is a Phillips head. There's Phillips head. Yeah, that's Phillips head. And in her left hand, she has the nut. Yes, it's a touchy-feely kind of thing. <laughs> you can see the screw and there's... I'm going to stop there to get out of her way so she can get that thing on. <laughs> and she's now screwing, uh, turning the screw to get the nuts snugged up. You do not want to get these tight at this point. And again, all that will start to make sense the further <laughs> along in the video we go. As you can see, there are a couple of holes here. And what we'll end up doing is we'll slide those holes over these little spikes and once that's done then we'll be able to adjust and tight, tighten that all up so here we go it's a more touchy-feely thing again look at that I think she's done this before and then we lower the seat look, look at that look at that soft close lower the lid as well Look how well that fits too. I mean, you know, we gotta. Gotta adjust it. Yeah. It'll take some adjustment, but. Uh, hey, it won't go any further back. In, in, in the end, it fits. Somewhat intentional on that pine. Once you've got it 
in the position you want it, you're going to take the seat back off and then you're going to put these little covers on. And you put these little covers on, they just go straight over the spike and they snap, well they don't really click snap, but they press fit onto the hinge. And then here we go once again. Boom. And it closes. Let's close both of them. Do -do 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 -do. And if we try and lift up on the back just to show how snug it is, you can see it does not come off of those posts. Unless, of course, you have both the lid and the seat up. Well, that's it for today. This thing took less than 30 minutes, start to finish, including running back and forth for tools and the filming. Let's do this again. Let's do that again. So it's a pretty quick project. That's what I think a lot of folks can do. And if you get tired of hearing that lid slam in the middle of the night, you definitely want a soft close. Hope you got something out of this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.